thoughts. Now I'm actually in Vegas. About to go pick up some food. But thoughts. Ah, uh, why can't people cook? I'm looking for my phone and I'm using it to record. But I think as Chicagoans, we've been spoiled, especially with pizza. But I've gone to Dallas, LA, Miami, Vegas. Uh, where else can I say? New Orleans. Majority of these places, food sucks. <clears throat> well, I'm back in Chicago. Um, as I was standing at the video, um, food sucks. You know, they always say, oh, it's better if you cook it at home. Hold on. There we go, that's a bit better. One of my cameras over here, or over here, camera lens. But, uh, yeah, I think as Chicagoans, we are very spoiled with food. From pizza, to tacos, to chicken wings, to even elotes. Um, yeah, so, lately when I've traveled, I like to uh, try new things. Um, I'm always very skeptical where I'm going and I usually look at reviews or um, I'll ask whoever I'm with, hey, what do you recommend? You know, I've gone to LA, I've done In-N-Out burgers. I've done Pink's hot dogs. I've done some pizza place called Roundhouse, Roundabout. Um, one of my former coworkers, Valerie, we went to this pizza place um, in LA County. I don't remember right, but that was some delicious ass pizza. Mm. Um, I've had pink tacos in Dallas. Um, where did we go this last time? I know we've gone multiple times to Campo Basos, uh, Campo Sanos, whatever it's called with Sandra, it's a Mexican place. Very good food. Um, pumpkins i know i've also gone to this burger joint uh one of the last times that i've gone which was very good with my uh <laughs> anyways um i went to this southern place for breakfast brunch that was very good and again i don't remember these places um <laughs> But I'm always disappointed with even paying 20 bucks, 15 bucks, $10 for a hamburger, and it is not good at all. All it does is makes me bloated and stuff, and it's like, well, I'm stuff, and it's not good. You know, I'm disappointed. I've actually gone to New Orleans, and New Orleans, I wanna say all the places that I've ate at New Orleans was very, very good. This place, especially this place called Mother's, um, it's right outside of the um, the French market. I've had their beignets. Disappointed. Everybody's oh, they're so good. They're so good. They're all right. You know, where did we go recently? That went to Vegas recently. Um, we went to this hamburger place. It looked really good, and it was all right. But I do eat the food. You know. I just feel that I'm spoiled with food or the flavor of food. Frijoles, I'm a very big critic of frijoles, AKA beans. My mom makes the best frijoles. So whenever I go to a Mexican restaurant, that's the first thing I'm gonna judge is your frijoles. Pizza again, as all you all know, I love pizza. Uh, Luminati's, uh, then I have my other chains like Beggars, which is good. Bison's, which is actually better than Beggars, is very good pizza. Um, and then we have our other little mom and pops, Just a Pizza, which I've ordered for over 30 years, but they're hit or miss, but they're still good. You have your Giordano's. Oh, it's a submarine just opened. With Giordano's, which is also uh, good. It's been a while since I've had them. 
Uh, I don't look, I don't like Unos, I don't like Duos. Uh, Pequots is actually very good. Um, but yeah, I mean, what, what are your thoughts? You know, I have my particular, like I said, I'm very particular with pizza, frijoles. Um, sushi, it's another one. Why can't we have some good sushi? Why can't we have some spicy wasabi with that sushi? Why does it have to be mild? You know, um, I know when my friends had moved from Chicago to Miami or Florida or to Texas, ah, we missed the food, we missed the food, we missed the pizza, we missed the tortillas, we missed this, we missed that. What can I say? Chicago has some really good food. 